giving a speech as best man is both exciting if you're truly happy for the groom and taxing if you're not a good public speaker. You want to make sure that you please the groom with what you have to say, but you also want to be short and to the point so that what you're saying is memorable and not drawn out. There's no need to make the speech a long one if you simply have nothing really to say. Short best man speeches are good because they get right to the point of your congratulations and let everyone get on with the celebration. The first thing that you want to do is thank the groom for the honor associated with being the best man at the wedding. Make sure that it's known that you appreciate the opportunity to express how happy you are for the bride and groom. You should compliment the bride if you feel genuine about it and make sure that you're doing so in an appropriate way. This should be a true statement and not something that you made up just to fill the time that you need to speak. Find some of the unique qualities about the bride that you admire and let the other guests know about them. You want to tell a story or two about the groom whether they're lighthearted and funny or simply heartfelt and express how you feel about them. This is a good chance for you to bond with the guests over behaviors or details about the groom that they can also relate to. It's also a moment to be sentimental and let everyone in on it so they can find that joy and that unified feeling of well wishes for the bride and groom. You may want to make a few appropriate jokes at the groom's expense and keep the mood light and playful for the celebration ahead. It's also important that you help the guests to see the bride and groom as a couple. This can be accomplished by talking about how they are when they're together and how much you wish the best for them and how much confidence you have that they'll have a long and happy marriage together. This is typically a good place to introduce a toast to the happy couple and then open up the evening for celebrating if you're the last one to give a speech. This also means that you've wrapped up your speech and made it through without too much damage to your self-esteem or your friendship with the groom. Some important guidelines to remember. You know, A good example of how you can tailor your best man's speech to fit the wedding and keep the crowd happy, it's going to vary based on your relationship with the groom and the couple as a whole. But make sure that your speech is something that's true, from the heart, so that you won't have a problem remembering what you're going to say. Taking the time to write it down is going to help a lot, and so will rehearsing. You'll be able to add things as they come up while you're speaking, as long as you have a general outline prepared. And you'll want to make sure that you're hitting all the high points, while also sticking to the main point, the toast to the bride and groom. It's important to remember that nobody really wants to sit through a long-winded speech, and most people are very happy to hear a short best man speech rather than waiting politely for the speaker to wrap it up, maybe like you're doing right now. Take some time to decide what points are important to you and the lucky couple, and feel free to use the example at samplebestmanspeeches.com, where you can actually download a single sample, or you can download 20 best man speech examples. So you can check that out right now at samplebestmanspeeches.com, and uh, there you'll be able to download 20 best man speeches to use as templates for your own speech. So you can go there right now or just click the link below this video, and I'll see you there. Take care.